Let's go this news, Curse here. You know, Berlin news. Let's 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 do some Berlin news here. This is rather interesting. I'm not going to lie. Rather, rather interesting. I didn't know this was even a thing, but you know, it is a thing now. This is Curse of RA. Look at this one. A long time coming. Berlin clubs welcome hard fought cannabis legalization in Germany. As of April 1st, laws around the drug have relaxed nationwide, meaning people can now carry up to 25 grams for personal consumption. That's pretty cool, isn't it? 25 grams of weed, of loud, you can have on your possession and you're not going to get nabbed by the, you know, fucking handsy, aggressive Berlin police over there or German police. Pretty cool. Germany's um, partial organization of cannabis has been welcomed by clubs in Berlin, though some say little will change on the dance floor. The new law came into effect on April 1st, meaning people can now carry up to 25 grams of personal consumption, grow up to free plants at home and smoke in designated areas of the club. That's pretty cool, right? Don't get me wrong, because as much as I love to get on it with the uppers in clubs, I think having a joint in a techno club, having a joint in a house club, whatever, in Berlin is actually a good. It's actually a good experience because the clubs are open during the day, longer hours. You get a chance to kind of you know mellow in and vibe out with the fucking environment. And sometimes when you want to come down and kind of get yourself recalibrated to go and sleep, what better way instead of running home straight away? You get a chance to kind of like deregulate you know, a little bit yourself, take yourself down a couple of notches by having a fat zoot outside of the venue or inside the venue, sitting down, watching all the fucking people frolic around. Not a bad thing. I'm not going to lie. Um, from July 1st, the so-called cannabis clubs can supply up to 500 members with a maximum monthly allowance of 50 Gs. Two years ago, April 20th, hundreds of people gathered outside Berlin's Brandenburg Gate to protest in favor of legalization. This is why the new law has come as a relief for many of the city's venues and party people. Again, another example of why people should never compare Berlin to any other city in Europe, maybe in the world. Their, you know, relationship with nightlife, their relationship with drugs and all this malarkey is so different to any other place. Um, legalization in the UK will never happen. Never. We are so anti-fun. Like, we ban everything. We ban fucking balloons, scooters, all sorts of shit. We just don't like fun. So I don't ever see a situation where cannabis will ever be legal, even partially. Never. Never, ever. Even decriminalized. I don't think it'll ever happen in the UK. Ever happen. Um, Erica Seek, how do you say that? Erica Sykesteliot. Erica Sykesteliot, Sykesteliot, co-founder of wedding club Panic, or Panka, sorry, Panke, Panka, Panke, is one of them. You're welcome to sit on our outdoor patio and enjoy a joint with a coffee or a glass of wine. Ooh, guess where I'm going then? Big up Panke! Um, you're welcome to sit on the outdoor patio and enjoy a joint um, with a coffee or a glass of wine. The fight for legalized cannabis in Germany has been ongoing for decades, so this legalization is encouraging and we hope will become an example for other European countries where cannabis laws are very, very strict. For other venues like Renate, legalization feeds into a wider harm reduction narrative. Speaking to RA, spokesperson Zoe Elunetel, Zoe Eulental said legalization marks a sufficient change for Berlin's nightlife, representing a shift towards more progressive drug policies and aligning with a safer nightlife approach. Visitors at Renate, she added, can smoke cannabis in the garden at its open air sister venue, Else, which reopens next weekend. Oh, wow. Else is opening. Sick. Else is one of the sickest outdoor venues in Berlin. I can't imagine how fucking sick that would be to be in the fucking sun smoking a fucking doobie flicking your fingers up and down in the air and shit oh that's gonna be fun
So you can smoke. So they let you smoke at Renate. No, you can't smoke at Renate. Only else. But another Berlin-based promoter who didn't want to named was quick to point out that people have been smoking cannabis in cities for years. It's true, but now it's legal. You know what I mean? Because being a black man of a certain description, of a certain type, going up to a club, you know, and trying to smoke a joint, sometimes you get dirty looks. Sometimes security asks you questions and shit. I've had joints confiscated off me when I've been to certain venues. So I'm not happy that you can just, you know, you can do it without having to hide your shit in your sock, under your sweaty balls, you know, try and disguise it with fucking cigarettes. That's good. You can just have it behind your ear like a fucking cigarette and no one's going to care. I love that. That's fucking amazing. So great to hear, great to see that. And also, most parks had people smoking there, but you don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to be smoking in secret, you know, behind a tree with some African uncle. I'd rather be doing it somewhere cool and fun. You know what I mean? But hey, maybe that's just me. Um, people are pointing that people have been smoking in cannabis city clubs for years. It doesn't really make a difference for Berliners, ravers. It's nice that we can now spark um, out outside of an airport. Um, he's oh yeah that's very true um, he said Berliners have been sharing memes that joke that how Berlin looked exactly the same before and after legalization every underground electronic music venue I know allowed consumption of weed and didn't say anything as long as it was a reasonable amount and most of the police turned up uh, yeah but you still got dirty looks I know people gave me dirty looks and again I've had joints confiscated from me from clubs so you know an anecdotal I know but at least that's my experience the other side of the story he added is that legalization, while useful in some places like Bavaria, where they can fuck you up for the first one joint, is also a ploy to win votes. The German government is the most fascist leadership we've had in 26 years. They're trying to be sexy to young people with this fake legalization, but for Berlin, nothing changes. Yeah, but Germany doesn't revolve around Berlin, does it? Come on, bro. Like, fucking hell. Berliners sometimes are, they're, they're fucking insufferable, isn't it? I think the whole of Germany revolves around them. It's like, bro, it's good for everybody. Why aren't you happy about this shit? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, get you guys are forward thinking and you've been okay with it for ages and it's been accepted, blah, blah, blah. But it's a good thing that you can now spark up a joint in fucking what? In Dusseldorf, in Frankfurt, in Cologne, in all these places. That's in Munich. It's a good thing, you know? Come on, bro. Shit. Open up the whole country for everyone. It probably puts less pressure on going out to places like Berlin in the first place anyway. What do I know? Earlier this week, the Berlin Club Commission published guidelines around the cannabis and clubbing and advised people to consume responsibly and to understand that each venue will have its own policy. Spokesperson Lutz Leitschringer, who's told RA that he thinks legalization will attract more tourists to Berlin. So that's what they do. That's, that's basically what they don't want, isn't it? Berliners don't want tourism, but tourism kind of keeps the lights on over there. You'd think. I, I think so anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think so. Let's continue. It's been a long time coming, but this will finally help decriminalize people who've been smoking cannabis in Germany for decades, aka black people. I think it's part of our reality that people smoke weed legalization is the right decision. It's very late arriving, but now we have it. Again, it's still complete. The Berliners or Germ Germans can complain in it. You've got le you've got partial legalization, and you niggas are still complaining. I would love that to happen in the UK. It's never happening. Could you ever see a reality where a Tory government a Labour government, any government, right? Any government would ever, ever, ever con contemplate having, you know, legalising cannabis. Ever. It wouldn't happen. It wouldn't fucking happen. So the fact these guys are still complaining makes me fucking laugh, really. Um, but yeah, that's it. So J Berlin's reopening now. Um, you can smoke weed everywhere, which I think is a good experience. I think I might actually go try that, especially when I go end of May and see Wagwan. Great to hear. Great fucking news. Love it. Especially for my black brothers and sisters out there who get fucking demonized and get looked upon like you're a fucking psycho for smoking a drink in the club. But sometimes I feel like, you know, with everybody being on uppers and everybody spurging out, actually smoking a joint in a club might be the most chicest thing ever. Being able to be in that kind of zone and chill and vibey. That might actually be the pl great place to be. So I'm all for it. I'm all fucking for it. I think that's great news. I love to see it. I love to fucking see it.